Yellow in the wild. Road trip in. Yeah, so we're on the road. We are heading that way. That We've way. been on the road for about four hours now. Still got another four hours to go. Mel texted me this morning to say... Come and enjoy some powder and revelstoke. I only agreed to come since the cat's here. Because I'm a cat man. Uncle Rob says only a few is here. Ooh, okay, just a bit more driving. Then it's revelstoke. Then it's powder. It's cold. <laughs> Are you just filming me? That's right. <laughs> Well, we just arrived at this cabin in the woods. I wasn't sure what to expect, but this place looks sick. This is where Wolverine was born. We have a, a rocking chair. You need to retire, Rob. Yeah. Let me give you a tour <laughs> <laughs> of our one piece, nope. three bedroom. Here is the first bedroom, Uncle Rob's bed here. Oh, I'm getting a queen size. Yeah. Woo! Second bedroom and third bedroom. Here we have a, come here. Where? That's the best place to be. Huh? What a joker. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like her head got crushed. So we have a fridge. We have everything we need, my, my friend. So we have a soup. And the fridge. Oh. Look what I brought. Oh, I forgot my hot socks. Uh, exactly what we need, right? It's perfect. $40 a night, like the, the snow that got out of the, the roof was too much for her. Do you want to maybe leave me your car and I'll take you to Rebel Stoke in the morning? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll walk around town and do whatever. Yeah. Does the mountain close same time, like 4 o'clock? 3.30, yes. Okay. All right, so we're on our way to check out the uh, Camino bathrooms in this place which are located in what Ed calls the Ark. This man's getting ready for the flood. Mel? Yeah. This guy's got it figured out. This is legitimately the Ark of the Cup. No, it's not the Ark of the Covenant, is it? Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. I read the books, the Bibles. 40 bucks a night. This is quite a big boat. This thing is pretty amazing. I'm fascinated by this kind of stuff. about bedtime. Pretty wild night last night. 
Went to bed at 10, sometime in the middle of the night, the power went out, which, I mean, when you're shelling out 40 bucks a night for accommodations, that's unacceptable. It's a bit of doom and gloom today, a bit foggy. It was raining quite a bit this morning. I'm not gonna ride today. Mel's out riding and I am going to have a look at all the scenery around Revelstoke. This place is absolutely beautiful, absolute magic. This place is unreal. I think Banff is a few hours that way. Super tempting. But the girls are done snowboarding for the day, so I'm gonna head back, see what they're up to. I'm gonna head back to town and hopefully not hear about any amazing snow that I missed because the amazing snow is tomorrow and the day after. Not today when I'm not riding. You hear me? All right, it's Sunday, it's powder day. But we didn't get any powder, did we? That's all right, doesn't matter, because powder's coming. It's on the way, it's just a little bit late. Everybody ready? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You'll have to cut that. I was talking about shit and stuff. Were you talking shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's alright, I'll put music over it. Ready? <laughs> Looks like it might be a powder day after all. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ready to roll! Here we are, day two. Should be some more snow on the mountain today. Yesterday we had a bit of powder, probably only like 10 centimeters or something like that. Should be a lot more than that today. Wow, Revelstoke is sick. The terrain is different, super steep. Love it. The trees are gorgeous. Can't wait to hit it again. Gonna be dope. Let's go. Injuries. Hey. Got some real bad injuries happening here. First aid massage kit for powder days. <laughs> so what your knee just like yeah. just clicked? The, that's the happened to me before. Yeah, but that place was a bit uh sketchy, right? It happened to my ankle yesterday. Yeah. And it for like two runs, it just felt like so it like the bone was out of place. And then I made a sharp turn and it went click. went back yeah, in. <laughs> <that's it. laughs> Good yeah, to go. <laughs> I'm 
day is done I don't know where Mel is let's hope she didn't hurt herself we're both exhausted I hope she didn't die pretty good day of riding though snow up top was epic but whew, they had a problem with uh, with one of the main chairs and one of the chairs that goes to the other main chair so about two hours of the day were kind of ruined we had to ride the uh, wet stuff at the bottom here so I waited a bit to have, you know, the last one for myself. Yeah. And who do you think I cross? Who? The one and only, this purple lady. No way. <laughs> like I waited for 10 minutes for nobody. Oh and then my now God. I was <laughs> there was this chick wearing these purple pants who just kept getting in our way. She's just learning. <laughs> and she was going exactly where? The, exactly where she was not supposed to be every five seconds. How was your last run? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good. Like ah. ripped it through the fog there. Oh yeah, got a bit scary. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Holy huh? shit! I could barely see like five meters in front of me. <laughs> like me too. And then I see a guy, like he's going like this and there. He's spitting on his right, and he's going on the left. I'm like, dude, give me a chance, you know. Either I go on your spit or I run on you. <laughs> Oop, but I you know that was not a good oh, idea. La, la. Oof. Like this discourages me. Oh my god. We're on our way back, or rather we were on our way back, but the highway's closed. Apparently there's some kind of a major accident in both directions out of here. So we're stuck in Salmon Arm for a few hours. So it might be a great opportunity to explore the beautiful sights and sounds of Salmon Arm. We're so far pretty industrial and bleh, a sweet old lady told me that I absolutely have to check out the wharf. Apparently, it's the must-see attraction of Salmon Arm. I mean, do I really have a choice? Let's go have a look.
that lady wasn't lying. This wharf is pretty damn cool. If only the fog would let me do what I want to do, fly the drone a little bit without getting the propellers frozen. The drone is actually getting stuck in midair. I guess with the fog, it thinks that it's hovering just above the ground. So it's like landing, landing, landing when it's way up there. No, no, it's no bueno, as they say. Or, oi no, as they say in Australian. A little bit risky on the ice there. Okay, well, I think I've seen this wharf from just about every angle I can possibly find. Now, surprisingly, four hours, more than enough time to see a wharf. Any less than four hours, I don't think I would have got what I needed from here. So I'm glad that, that I've been standing here in the cold for four hours. All right, the highway should be opening up. I'm gonna get the hell out of here and hopefully get home today because it's about an eight hour, eight hours, is it eight hours? No, probably closer to eight and a half, nine hours from here, depending on the traffic and hopefully they don't close that highway again. But man, what a beauty this place is. Right, to home. <laughs>